Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking the brand Face Theory. Now, they've been around for years, but they're suddenly getting a lot of hype and attention over on TikTok and Instagram. They've become one of the big viral brands of the moment, with people singing their praises of their products. Now, I've been a fan of some of their formulations for some time. However, recently, they went through a whole change process and reformulated a lot of my holy grails. Now, reformulations strike fear into the heart of all skincare lovers, because it usually means that brands are taking our holy grails, at tweaking with the formulations, and they're just never as good. I'm looking at you, La Roche-Posay, when they're messed with their Cicaplast balm. Well, actually, having tried the reformulated versions of the Face Theory products, I'm here to say I think this is one of the few occasions where a reformulation has actually made a product significantly better. So in this video, I want to update you guys with my thoughts, feelings, and opinions when it comes to Face Theory as a brand, my ding, 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 holy grail products, and a couple of wah, wah, wah total fails along the way. Sit back, relax, let's talk all things Face Theory. Theory. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know what your own thoughts and opinions are when it comes to face theory. These are just mine, and I do honestly love to hear from you guys. One of my favorite times of the day is when I get to sit down and respond to all of your comments. So, stand up in the comment section below and let me know. Whatever your thoughts on the brand, if you enjoy this style of content where we take a full skincare brand, tear it apart, talk about the holy grails, the total fails, and everything in between, then let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and a like. This really does support me as a content creator, so thank you so, so much. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to leave some timestamps in the description box below. So if you want to jump to one section of the video over another, be my guest. They're there for your convenience, as are links to any of the products, good and bad, that I'm mentioning in today's video. Now, with all that out of the way, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So kicking things off with a brief, and I mean a very brief, overview of Face Theory. So as a brand, they are entirely cruelty-free. That's a big tick in the box from the start. They're colourful. You'll see with the products that I share with you today, it is like a colour assault on the eyes. And I personally love that. You know, I'm one of these people that's drawn to scents, colours, textures. I want a product not only to deliver and work on the skin, but make me want to reach for it day in, day out. And I definitely think Face Theory have done that. When it comes to their products, they tend to have multi-active formulations rather than single actives like, say, The Ordinary. And again, in a world where we're all trying to streamline our skincare routine, I definitely think that's a positive. They have some great vegan options if you're living a plant-based or vegan lifestyle. And I'd say their price point is mid-market. They're not the cheapest out there, but they're also not bougie and luxury either. I first featured Face Theory on the channel three years ago, and honestly, I was a big fan from day one. I have never done sponsored content with Face Theory, so let's just put that right out there. I don't do sponsored content here on the channel. Uh, you know, no shade to those content creators that do, but I think by turning down the paid partnerships and sponsorships just helps me retain my independence. So these opinions shared today are all my own. Now, Face Theory went through a bit of a difficult patch about a year ago. I think, you know, they weren't releasing a lot of new hyped products, so some of the interest in the brand has started to die down. They also had a massive issue with their international pricing. This is something that you guys flagged to me and I did a video on that about a year ago where the issue was the pricing in the US, in Australia and some other territories were significantly higher even when you take into account exchange rate fluctuations than here in the UK which is where the brand are based. Now a lot of people said this is price gouging, we're not interested, I don't like brands that take advantage of the consumer, ultimately I'm pretty drugstore in my choices and I'm cheap. So this was definitely a turn off for me, however it turns out that there was just some issues with their pricing and the exchange rates and stuff of working across multiple different markets and so that was corrected and if you check the pricing, well again you can use the links in the description box below, you'll see that, that when you take into account exchange rates the pricing internationally is much more reflective of the UK pricing than it was before. So I think that's definitely a step in the right direction. Was I happy about it? Absolutely not. But I've always said on this channel, I'm always a great believer in second chances. You know, I have, I've asked for forgiveness a lot of times in my life and people have always been gracious to give me second chances. So I always feel like I should pay that forward even when we're talking about skincare brands. The final thing I want to say is there are brands that's known for having an awful lot of different products. You know, I'm a great advocate for consumer choice. It's nice when we've got those options in the market, but I think sometimes it can seem a bit overwhelming. You can go on the Face Theory website and they've got like 80 different skincare sets and 14 different cleansers and so 
so many serums and you end up thinking actually I can't my brain can't process all of this um, and I found that pretty difficult to navigate when it was like new product launch after new product launch so I'm kind of excited that they stepped back a little bit from doing that and have decided to instead improve the formulations that already exist and offer the um, new reformulated products I think are definitely a step up from what they had before you know nothing stands still in skincare and it's nice I think to see a brand innovating and taking account of consumer feedback but also you know developments in technology so in the spirit of positivity let's start with the pros the ding 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 holy grails that I think face theory as a brand have to offer later in the video I'm going to come on to some of their fails the products that I don't necessarily recommend so kicking things off with one of my absolute favorites is this this is the face theory sciatica toner so I love this because you've got a 2% salicylic acid and you've got centella asiatica to calm and soothe so if you're somebody that reaches for the Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant and um, switch to this it's a fraction of the cost it's got a better profile in terms of its ingredients and it's still got that 2% concentration of salicylic acid in here you've got some lactic acid as well which is just going to give a more robust exfoliation but again it isn't going to strip dry and irritate the skin I use this a couple of times a week just you can put it on your palms you don't even have to use a cotton round for this apply it to the skin and I definitely feel it keeps any blackheads and congestion in check and I never get any irritation from it so if you're someone that's just used salicylic acid in the past and found it dried it irritated maybe give this a go it is genuinely one of my favorite favorite toners and definitely just like I say keeps all that congestion in check I also really like the bottle I think it's got that sort of apothecary vibe to it and I, you know I like to look at it and see it on my vanity and that's another reason obviously we're going for the formulation but when something's nicely packaged you know it also adds to the appeal of the product this I'm going to give a solid 10 out of 10 because it's cheaper than Paula's Choice and I know that Paula's Choice product is viral for a reason I think you'll get better results with this and have to shell out far less of your hard-earned coin the Exaglow Serum by Face Theory is also a little bit of a holy grail. I actually featured this in a recent video I did where I talked about my top five serums of 2023. I'm going to leave a link to that video up there, so definitely one to check out. This is a product I use time and time again. Combining tranexamic acid with licorice with some vitamin C, just a great blend of ingredients to really get on top of your hyperpigmentation. If you've got uneven skin tone, discoloration, dark spots, melasma, this will really, in quite a short space, of time help you get on top of that and eliminate it now hyperpigmentation does take some time to really get on top of so set your expectations but i find after one bottle of this which lasts me about a month and a half you'll see some meaningful difference in the skin which is enough to make you want to repurchase it and continue with it as a treatment i think it's that blend of tranexamic acid licorice vitamin c that's kind of doing everything but because it's got some calming and soothing ingredients too it also suppresses inflammation in the skin and because inflammation is the number one trigger to hyperpigmentation this works in two ways eradicates pigment that's already pulled but also prevents future pigment being created so over time a more even skin tone and um, i like this again i love the packaging i love the coloration um, and i'll use this once a day for best results and uh, yeah i just find again zero irritation but a really really quick turnaround in terms of results now in with the first of their reformulated products i want to talk about this now this is the OcuWake Eye Cream. So they turned this the pro version because you can still get the old version on their website. I'm not sure whether they're discontinuing the old version and just selling out of their stock or whether they're actually gonna sell both side by side. Um, for me, it's a no brainer that you should go for this one. I think the old version I liked and I'll talk about the reasons why, but ultimately it wasn't the most stable of products. And so I found after like it had been open three or four weeks, it started to separate and I never managed to get all the way through the tube before I had to throw it away. I hate waste. I certainly hate wasting my money. So that's the reason I stopped using it. But actually, the reason I think this is a great eye cream and really a true innovator in the market is if you've got Melia, those little white bumps you get under the eye, it can be really difficult to treat them. This the best treatment I've ever found. You can either use it to eradicate melia you've already got, or you can use it a couple of times a week as a preventative measure to make sure that you don't have them. These melia will accumulate over time. As we age, we become more prone to them. It's little keratin plugs under the skin. They're harmless, but definitely can damage your skin confidence. So in here, you've got urea, you've got lactic acid, you've got hydrators, you've got peptides. So this is gonna be anti-aging, minimizing fine lines and wrinkles, lightly exfoliating to help tra target those melia, and that 
that urea is just amazing for like locking in moisture and also smoothing out the under eye. This has far more peptides in it than the original formulation. It's got that urea, which I definitely think is a step up. And I think that combination in here of some plant botanicals, extra peptides, and some really great exfoliators is what really delivers a truly comprehensive eye cream. Um, in terms of its stability, way more stable than the original one. So this won't spoil the same way that the other might. Great, particularly if you're living in a warmer climate. Um, I always kept mine in the fridge to try and extend the lifespan. And and that worked to some extent but this is just going to be stable so you can actually keep it in your bathroom on your vanity for like the most convenient application it's beautiful <laughs> i just i really really like it and one good thing about it is because it's fragrance free you can actually smell the urea urea has a very specific scent to it which i personally don't mind at all um, and you can set, smell it in there because it's getting a really high concentration so this is going to pack a punch if you blend that into the skin you see just how seamlessly that goes in super hydrating smooths everything out and will definitely 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 get to grips with that melia if you have it so i would say use it every day if you've got melia and it'll eradicate them if you haven't and you want to prevent the you know the occurrence of them a couple of times a week we'll just keep everything in check um, Another holy grail of mine that is a reformulation. And again, I think so, so much better than the original formulation for a number of reasons is this. This is the Super Gel Moisturizer Pro. And um, again, I don't, I haven't, I don't actually think they sell the original anymore. I think this is just a like for like replacement of it. Um, but it's the same great lightweight gel texture. Perfect if you've got oily, acne prone skin in the summer months. You know, you put a moisturizer on and you feel like you just can't sweat through it and it feels like you're wearing a mask. Hate that. Not with this, super lightweight and gel-like, which I absolutely adore. But they've actually increased the amount of salicylic acid in here. So whilst I said I love the Saliatica toner, if you're using this, you actually don't need this. This is your salicylic acid fix and your moisturizer all in one. It's also got niacinamide, it's got some hyaluronic acid, it's got all the usual suspects, but that salicylic acid is what takes it up a notch. It's also got probiotics, great for the microbiome of the skin. And again, great if you've got um, acne or very acne prone skin, because often some of that can be as a result of the microbiome being out of sync. So probiotics are a great way of combating that and some calming and soothing ingredients too. Definitely. <laughs> Just a really, I love it. I love the feel of this on the skin. If you can see, it goes on as quite a thick gel, but you work it into the skin and it disappears without a trace. A little does go a long way because this is so hydrating considering how lightweight it is. And yeah, just perfect for the oily skinned amongst us like me in those warmer summer months. Only for the holy grails, this is the Poly Prep Collagen Boosting Serum. Now, I actually featured this in one of my favorite peptides videos, which again, I'm gonna leave a link to up there if you wanna check it out. But at the time of filming that, this had a good concentration of peptides, but not many different types of peptides, if that makes sense. Well, in this reformulated version, they've actually added three further peptides to the mix, and they're great peptides for boosting collagen and elastin production in the skin. They've also dialed up the concentration of those peptides. So you're getting more peptide action, more in terms of the different types of collagen boosting peptide. And this is definitely going to deliver you far greater results than the original, which I was already pretty impressed with. I think before my preference would always have been for the Hylamide Sub-Q Skin, which if you've watched the channel for some time, you'll know is my favorite peptide of all time and definitely I think was better performing than the original. I think when you look at this formulation, it's definitely now on a par with that sub Q, which has been discontinued. So this is a nice replacement to have in your routine and it's really lightweight. So if I just show you how this applies onto the skin, See, I would probably just use two, maybe three drops tops. So a little goes a long way with this peptide packed serum. And look, it just disappears but it's so soothing and smoothing on the skin. Absolutely love it. So yeah, definitely another example of kicking it up a notch, taking an already good formulation and making it phenomenal. Now, with any skincare brand, there are, they have their holy grails and they have their total fails. And I think any content creator that says there's not a single bad product in this skincare line is probably being sponsored <laughs> to say that because no brand has a, just a flawless collection of products. 
So when it comes to the fails from face theory, I personally am not the biggest fan of their um, cleansers. They work really well, but again, they tend to separate and split after a while. Um, you can keep them in the fridge to kind of delay that, but who keeps their cleanser in the fridge? I'm not going downstairs to the kitchen every time I want to wash my face. So I'm not the biggest fan of their cleansers. I think, yeah, again, they could do a little reformulation with that to kind of help with the stability. So you got a better shelf life on the product. That might just have been my experience. Sound off if you experience the same in the comments section below, but that's the main reason I don't shop their cleansers personally. I also am not the biggest fan of their sets. <laughs> now, they have um, like curated collections of different products pulled together, and usually you get like a 10% discount, which is nice to see, but I never think their sets make a lot of sense. They put different products together, and I think, really? Who's that for? Who are we aiming that for? It doesn't always make sense. So I think if you're shopping face theory, you're better just choosing the products that you actually want, putting them in your basket. The good thing is they always have lots of discounts. So here in the UK, and it differs from country to country, but here in the UK, you can get key worker discounts. If you work in a supermarket, if you work in the NHS, fire service, whatever, you get, I think it's either 20 or 30% discount. Students get a 20% discount. If you're a first time purchaser, you get a 20% discount. If you sign up to their newsletter, you get a 15% discount. There's a lot of discounts out there. So just promise me, if you've reached it this far in the video, that you won't pay full price. Actually, look, they've got like a discount section on the website somewhere. Click on that. Find out one of those discounts will apply to you, at least one. Make sure you apply that before you check out because, you know what, if we can save some of our hard-earned coin, why not? I'm really happy to be able to share with you some reformulations that I think are for the better. So a positive reformulation and a bit of an update on my thoughts, feelings and opinions when it comes to face theory. I'd love to know yours, so leave me a comment below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, I love your skin. Take care. Bye.